Ready when you are. Okay. Hi. Right. I'm based on Paul from Luke Masters, and I've got some samples here assigned to um, assigned in live, and we're going to trigger some clips live using the audio cubes to trigger them. An audio cube is basically uh, a MIDI controller using infrared, and uh, we can assign each side of the audio cube four sides to MIDI notes or anything you want, basically control, change, whatever you like. So basically, I'm going to figure, try trigger some loops here. I've got this side of the cube here assigned to drum loop. So we trigger a drum loop. We place the second cube next to it, and it will read a message across, and it will trigger the loop. If I turn the cube, it will fire another clip. If I turn it again, we get a second, we get a third clip come in, and one more time. We get the fourth drum loop. So okay, so let's bring in a bass line. Now I'll use the top side of the, of the main cube here. So there you go, brings in the bass loop. If I turn the cube, we get a new bass loop. And again, the third loop. The last time, we get the fourth bass loop. So we move over to the, this side here. Start triggering key loops. So got a little six line going on there. We turn the cube again. Little keyboard line. So we can move over to the last side. There's a little pad coming. One more time. Got a little keyboard line. One more time. Got a little pad. Change the bass line. Okay, right. so now change the drums again. You can do it pretty quickly as well, so finally I've set this last cube up to do a control change on a cutoff filter. So if I put my hand slowly over it, I hear the whole thing dive into the filter. There you go. 